Hey, hey, hey! So today we're going to talk about the Tarte Double Take Eyeliner. So I got this a little bit ago uh, in a Tarte package. In the Tarte, it was their yearly annual sale. I was going to say from Ulta. Um, but I got that in a package. It, so it has um, a basically a pencil liner and a liquid liner. It's kind of a two-in-one, which is very handy, especially for traveling or if you... Um, you know want to take it to work and like if you have to do touch-ups I don't know like I'm not somebody who touches up my eyeliner but I suppose if you know it's it basically handy so if you wanted to take it in case you need to touch it up it's just one thing where you don't have to take like two different sticks so we're gonna apply it and then uh, I'm gonna finish my makeup and we will talk about it. so this is what the pencil looks like it's pretty dark that's what it looks like it's pretty dark um, it's very it goes on very very smoothly which is good because the part where you apply this is very tender and I much much more prefer like the the mechanical uh, pencils versus a sharpener I know the sharpeners can be like more sanitary um, but I like the ones that are mechanical because they're usually gentler on my eye. If I have to sharpen it, um, you know, there's always the danger that you're going to get a piece and it's going to scratch your eye or whatever. I've done that many times. Especially if you go in thinking that it's sharpened and then get uh, a nasty little surprise. But you can already see the difference. Like this eye has no liner. This one has just the pencil liner. It's very, very nice. Very smooth. It lasts. I like to just apply it sometimes right on my eyeball, apparently. But I've had this for a while and I've tried to be using it. It has quickly become one that I can, uh, that I reach for just because it is both eyeliners in one. And I have to say, with I okay, with my history of Tarte eyeliners, I got the um, the Easy on the Eyes eyeliner in black, which I don't know if they don't make that anymore or what, but it's been sold out for a while. But anyway, the gel liner. But anyway, I got that one and tried it, and oh my gosh, I loved it. It's like a little pencil. It's not a liquid. Uh, well, it's a clay liner, but it's in like a pencil form. It even has a little sharpener on the end if you need to use it. I haven't used it because uh, I'm, I'm a lazy, but um, it does have a, come with a sharpener that you can use, which I think is totally cool. Um, but it also just winds up like a mechanical liner, so. But it's just, it's so soft and so nice. The color is there, the pigment is there, but not like in an overwhelming kind of way. All right, and then I started using the liquid liner, so we're gonna do hopefully like a little bit of a wing. Now I'm not great at, at wings, so. But. I also can't really talk while I apply liquid eyeliner, so we're just gonna do this and then we will Talk a little bit about it. I don't know why I always have the need to make my eyeliner, my wings like super long like that. I don't know what that is. And just ignore this because like I'm not great at applying a um, winged eyeliner sometimes they take it a little far I like this one because it you know as you can see like it removes super easy so if you have something that you need to correct you can fix it pretty quickly no issues now that one did not turn out very nice but
y'all, if you watch my makeup videos all the time, you're just like, you apply it better. Yeah, I do. Normally, I do. I don't know what's going on with me today, but some days are better than others, you know? Some days you can just get the line up right on, on where you want it to look, and then some days... You're just like, I, I don't know what this liner's doing, but not what I tell it to do. You know? So. I will say, okay. Okay, there's that. Um, I'm just making a huge mess out of this eye, but... I greatly prefer felt tip pens over, um, oh, like inkwell liners, like the Wet n Wild Mega liners. Um, I generally prefer pens like this to, um, the, the other kinds of liners, but, um, y'all, I am, I am messing this up big time today, but normally it's, it's not that bad. I'm a little bit more careful. I think I'm trying to rush today. I'm not sure why but um my thoughts so far is so far so good um i'm gonna go finish my makeup and we will really talk about it but i'm not hating this liner i will just go ahead and say that i'm not hating this liner it's just how i uh, apparently use it and um am not the best with it if you're not like careful with some of these pens you can really make a mess so yeah I, mean, I mean the good thing is like i said it just it, you can really get it off really pretty easily compared to some other ones that i've tried so all right and this eye is usually more curved up, whereas this one is kind of more straight. So we're just going to have to go with that. You're just going to have to um, see that for what it is. All right. So I'm going to go finish my makeup and then we will come back and talk about this liner. All right. So I got my makeup all finished up. And I do have to say, my eyes water a fair bit when I do um, when I do my makeup. I don't know what it is. Every time I go to film, I start yawning. I don't know if it's the the light from the ring light like triggers me to like be tired because it doesn't matter how awake I am. It doesn't matter how much coffee I've had, how much caffeine. I it just it happens. Um, I have to say, I really like this liner and. I, this is the second liner from Tarte that I've tried, technically third if you count both of them, um, cause I haven't, this is the first liquid liner I've tried from Tarte. Um, I'm, I'm very impressed, you know, with Tarte's eyeshadows, not quite so impressed, but the eyeliners are very, very nice. They go on very smooth. The pencil is very creamy and soft on your eye. It does not hurt at all. Same with the, um, the liquid liner. Obviously like today is not a great eyeliner day for me. Um, I tried to kind of neaten things up a little bit, but um, we're, we're not perfectly even and that's kind of that's kind of my thing I'm just I'm not great at getting perfectly even but with without that like that's that's my own fault that's the skill I think it's very pigmented it does stay on there I will say that when I go to remove this at night um, I wouldn't say that you have to fight to get it off but it doesn't you know it comes off fairly easily but it's also not something that where if you cry it's going to come off very very easily or you know whatever like this is not an eyeliner that's going to to budge without like an actual makeup remover on there so in my experience it's very very nice it lasts a long time it says ophthalmologist tested waterproof 12 hour power i don't know why you'd wear eyeliner for 12 hours but more power to you if you do you might have to do a wear test i'm gonna have to do all these wear tests for all these different things but um i i give this a four out of five you know to hit a five out of five is really really hard the easy on the eyes is 
Chef's Kiss, five out of five. I freaking love that eyeliner, but this one, four out of five. So it's really, really good. I like that it's two in one. I really like those kind of eyeshadows um, because it makes it easy if you want to throw it in your purse. If you happen to, you know, if you're going on a maybe, I don't know, maybe a little overnight uh, with somebody and you need to pack an eyeliner just to make sure that you are looking cute or whatever, this is a cute thing to have here. If you travel a lot, you know, if you if you lazy like me and you're just like, I just want to grab one thing and be able to do two things with it, that's it. This is great for that too. So I'm going to give it a four out of five. Let me know if you have tried this product. Um, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, let me know all the things in the comments below. Don't forget to go follow me over on the Instagram. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video because you never know what kind of content is going to pop up over here on this channel. I thank y'all so, so much for watching. I love you all very, very much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.